Hey YouTube, it's Lion here with Hobbies of Man once again. And today we're gonna do something a little different because it's been a little over a month since I started collecting manga and light novels. And so I thought it was a good idea to do a bit of an update on my collection. I'll show you what I originally had before uh, I started collecting actively. And then I'll show you everything I've uh, gotten so far, what I've read, what's on my TBR, and then what I'm currently reading. Or, well, not in that order, but that stuff, okay? And, uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, I'm trying to get this all in frame, but uh, that's my actual shelf that has all of my red manga, kind of. Uh, this is how we're going to do this video. Uh, but I actually wanted to show you guys down here... Starting with what I'm reading right now, which is uh, Death Note Volume 2 and uh, Haruhi Tsushima, uh, The Melancholy of Haruhi Su Su Susumiya, I think is what her name is. Okay, there you go, that's Death Note. Uh, that's The Melancholy of Haruhi Susumiya. And that's what I'm reading right now. Uh, I've been plowing through manga and light novels. And yeah, uh, as you can see, these are my bookshelves in the back. Uh, so this bookshelf is not usually here, but I brought it over here so I could uh, fit everything in the same uh, area. And so this uh, bookshelf would uh, have some light. So yeah, okay. So this is my TBR pile. This is basically everything uh, I showed in my last manga haul, I think. Uh, so I'm not gonna take that long to explain stuff. Uh, here we go. Five centimeters per second. Inspector. Uh, which is apparently about a girl that doesn't have a leg and a guy. And it kind of has that same uh, kind of soul, soul leader, take care of spirits kind of thing going on. Spice and Wolf, volume one. Uh, I haven't read the light novel, and I haven't read this, so I don't know what it's about, but I think it's about some uh, merchant and some fertility slash farming goddess. I don't know. Uh, Fairy Tales 2 and 3. I've got volume 1 up in my other shelf. Um, it's just the Magic Guild. Kind of shown any... I kind of like One Piece, maybe... I mean, I haven't really watched One Piece, so I wouldn't know. Then I've got uh, the other volumes I own of Death Note. Oh, these sh I should be in order. Uh, volume 3. Volume 4. I'm excited to get to this one. I don't know who she is, because she looks super creepy. And uh, I don't have Volume 5 or 6, but I have Volume 7. And the next thing I have is... Uh, Zero six, which is a vertical. No, never mind. It's by some other people, but it's a manhwa, and it's like a regular book, and so it kind of bothers me because it doesn't uh, go the right way compared to everyone else. And then down here, I've got a uh, prophecy right there. Oh, well, it's upside down. Right there, which I'll put up here. It's a, it's kind of like Watchmen, I think, from what I've heard. I don't really know. I Don't quote me on that. It's the only thing I own by Vertical. And then down there is uh, three light novels. I got this one today from Amazon. It's uh, Infinite Dendogram number two. This is a really good light novel. Uh, probably the best one I've read. Or the first one is the best one I've read. I'm excited to get to this one. It just came in today. And then these two are uh, Devils of Part-Timer, Volume 1. And uh, suppose a kid from the last Dungeon Boonies moved to the starter town. Which is like, this kid is OP. But he didn't realize he was OP because he lives with a bunch of people that are also OP. And then when he moves to like the beginner town, it's crazy. And you know, hilarity ensues. As just as our stone likes to say. And yeah, uh, this one is about uh, the Devil King working at McDonald's, which is also funny. Oh, sorry for the crappy reflections. Oh, there we go. 
And yeah, that's all I have for light novels. Uh, down here, there's the Buffy Omnibus. There you go. Haven't read it yet, obviously. And then I've got these three books, which are Azumanga, the manga Dio, or Azumanga Dio? Dio? I don't know. I think it's like a comedy. Yeah, that's what it says right there. So yeah. And then uh, Drifting Dragons, volume, uh, well, here we go, this is volume one, and this is volume two, and I'm excited to get to these, but I want to keep them to the end, because uh, I feel like these are going to probably be more, uh, what's it called, not heavy, but like, important than the other ones I own, so I want to keep these for when I feel it. Plus, I don't really like uh, deciding what I'm going to read ahead of time. I just kind of go with the flow and pick whatever I want. And yeah, that's it for my TBR pile. Let me show you all of it again. So there's uh, that shelf. The three late novels. The one uh, comic book. And then over there, that's Drifting Dragons. And yeah, that's it for this section. Uh, here, let me just stand up. Uh, here we go. So, I have this kind of organized, kind of not really. Uh, okay, let me show you. Let me start over here, actually. So, there we go. That's uh, everything I own. Uh, Maggie. Full Metal Alchemist. Dead Man Wonderland. One Punch. One Piece Volume 1. Um, I want to get the rest of these, but I might just get the three in ones instead. Attack on Titan Volume 1. Blue Exorcist, which is a really good anime. Although I think it, uh, the ending was kind of bad. Fairy Tale Number 1, like I said. A Dragon Ball Z, which I actually technically haven't read, but uh, I've watched it, so that counts kind of. Plus, this is from, like, my, what I owned already. And I'm not really gonna, uh, move it. Because it, it fits so nicely already, and I don't want to mess with it. I'll, I mean, once I read it, or once I collect the rest of these volumes, I might move it around. But, yeah. This is the first manga volume I ever bought. Dragon Ball. Uh, it was, like, three bucks. It was great. Picked it up because I, I, when I was a... In fifth grade, I got really into the Dragon Ball an uh, anime, and I used to watch it on in YouTube, like on YouTube after school, because uh, I lived at a hotel for a while, because uh, my house wasn't being wasn't uh, finished building, and so we'd stay at a hotel, and there was like no kids television at the hotel, so I would just watch YouTube, and this was on there. So yeah, and then Naruto. Uh, this is the Boruto uh, short story before the, the other guy took over and started doing all of it. And then uh, I've read all of these, one through five. I haven't read 45 because I don't have all the other ones, but I've watched all the uh, anime, so kind of I've read it. Oh, this bothers me. This is like the older logo and all of these are new or the old new logo, I guess. Cause I know they changed their logo again and it, people were annoyed. But whatever, I'll uh, just hide it with my Bakugan. Okay. And I got Kill a Kill Volume 1. I got this at Walmart. I didn't uh, even know what Kill a Kill was. But uh, there's a cute, crazy girl on the cover. So I was, like, interested. Plus, uh, I'd heard about it. I just didn't know what it was about. And then over here is... Uh, these Dragon Ball Viz Bigs, which are in horrible condition, uh, most of them. Here, I'll... Like, the, the pages on them are pretty white, but everything else about these is horrid. They're like old uh, used library co uh, copies, but my friend gave them to me, so they were like extra used <laughs> by the time I got them. Volume 3 especially is really bad. It's got like red stains on it. And it's messed up. It's got a bunch of glue on it. But I mean, 
I'm going to read them again because I don't really remember much of it. And then I'll uh, decide. Because some of these are pretty good, actually. Like, this, this Volume 5 one is, like, perfect. And Volume 1 and 4 are okay. But these three, or uh, these two are really bad. And yeah, oh, there's Vegeta. And I usually just hang a uh, Levi over there. And I have this, uh, oh, sorry. This uh, Saint Seiya, uh, what's it called? Clock. It doesn't have batteries in it, but I keep it because uh, one of my uncles gave it to me. And it's pretty cool. Uh, it says uh, Los Caballeros del Zodiaco. Because that's what uh, Saint Seiya is called in Spanish. Yeah, I got a Bakugan. I don't even know what it's called. It's like a little dragon thing. And then uh, Beyblade. I think this one's called like the Leviathan or something. It's like a giant whale. It's cool. And then uh, everything past here is new stuff. Oh, I got these Vocaloids. My friend gave them to me. You guys see them? There you go, the Vocaloids. Uh, that's uh, Rin, I think. That's Hatsune Miku. They don't really want to stand up, so I just kind of keep them hidden. Yeah, so uh, to your eternity, which uh, once I finish this video is going to go over here. Because uh, they're the same height, so I have to put it over there. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I I'm sure some of you will understand. Anyway, let's get back to it. So Heroic Legend of Arslan. Uh, which is a uh, historical fantasy book that was uh, turned into a manga. And the artist is the same artist as Full Metal Alchemist. And then there's Assassination Classroom, which is immensely good. It's super funny. And I didn't know that <laughs> before I picked it up. And then there's Samurai 8, which I think is now canceled. But uh, hopefully they release all the, uh, the volumes of it uh, in English. Because I, I kind of liked it. And even if it's bad, I mean, I still want to support the creator of Naruto. And I'll buy these new since they're just releasing. Uh, Air Gear, which is really great. Love the anime. Uh, it's actually pretty faithful. I didn't know that until I read this a couple weeks ago. And uh, yeah. This, this first volume is basically adapted word for word. And then there's Shaman King. Dragon Drive. Which is an, kind of one of these uh, virtual game world thingies. It, it's not like a MMO. It's just kind of like the uh, sell trading cards kind of uh, manga. My Hero Academia, obviously. Have you guys noticed how he looked kind of like Sue in that uh, art? He kind of looks like Sue because he's got like a... I don't know. He kind of looks like, looks like a frog. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Which is good. It kind of reminds me of Moggy, which is up there. Uh, they both have like a pervy, a young looking guy. And I don't know. It's fun. Death Note number one. Oh, Yuri Aoshi, which is, I think is it's in English. It's something about uh, being bluer than blue or something. Or bluer than indigo. And this is really good. It's a really nice romantic comedy. There's some drama elements to it, but I think they weren't utilize that well but uh yeah if i get three volumes of it i'll make a review for it and then over here is my seven seas collection uh dungeon of the black company one two three uh there you go this is probably my favorite volume this third one was weird it had like a trap character which is not my cup of tea I mean, I don't mind lollies, so I can't, like, cry over tra uh, traps, but it's not the best. But I didn't like that this uh, kind of went on its own thing. And it did, like, a double isekai, like, inception type of situation. And uh, for some reason, there is, like, a side story where it's, like, uh, where is it? Yeah, see? Ranga and Anger World. It's kind of, like... Alice in Wonderland, and I was, like, confused as to why that's in there. I think it's supposed to be some meta joke about how, you know, Alice in Wonderland is an isekai, which it totally is. It's, like, portal fantasy. 
And yeah, uh, there's a demon lord on the floor, which I think it's supposed to be in the floor because she lives in the floor of the restaurant, but I don't know. Uh, this one's my favorite, I think. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, this one's my favorite because it's the one that is about uh, the Christmas stuff. This is probably the most wholesome one except for Halloween because uh, this is like the Christmas, uh, the holiday special. The Halloween one was not great because, uh, you know, pervy stuff on Halloween because they get to dress up. And yeah, it's basically all the manga. Uh, let me see. My favorites, I guess, it's probably going to be uh, Magi, I really liked. Um, Fairy Tale, I really like, even though it's kind of not great. Air Gear is really good. Assassination Classroom. And Death Note, probably. Of all the ones that I've read. And it, only Volume 1s, because I haven't read all the other stuff, obviously. And then here we go. Um, these are my light novels. These aren't all of them. I have a couple uh, online ones. And the three that I showed you guys earlier. But these are the uh, the ones I've read. Cultic Nine, which is great. Uh, it's kind of almost like Scooby-Doo, but not really. Because it, it's like a lot darker. Like, And there's also like serious magic. Instead of just like mysterial level type of stuff. Where it's just like messing around. Do you love your mom and her two hit multi-target attacks? Which is also great. I really liked it. Uh, I like her as a character. I don't like her son. He's kind of like really mean to her for no reason. I don't like that. But uh, it, it's really funny. Their interplay. Because she's like basically a yandere for him. And he's like not into it. Because it's his mom. So it's great. It's really funny. And then Log Horizon. Which is probably one of the better light novels I've read besides Infinite Thundergram, and it has kind of the same situation, but this one's more like SAO, where they get trapped in the world. Uh, I like uh, the three main characters and the way they uh, interact. I don't really understand their little, like, love thing that they have going on, these two, because she's, like, a high school kid. I don't know, she's, like, early college, and he's, like, late college, and that's not the problem, but it's, like really odd because they're both really bad at communicating and then this guy's just like laughing and messing with him it's really cool i like it the character interactions are really good that's probably the best part of it but then again i think light novels are basically just about the characters world building isn't really that important in most light novels and then rising of the shield hero i made a post on instagram about it yesterday because i finished it yesterday uh yeah it's really good i <sighs> The way they characterize Naofumi is really interesting because they make him feel like he's, like, a total horrid person. But it makes sense because, like, everything, as soon as he got to this new world, is garbage. And so he hates everything. And, yeah, it's, I don't know. And I really like the character development that's made uh, throughout the story between Naofumi and Raftalia. Uh, Raftalia. I think that's her name. Uh, because it, like, humanizes him, humanizes him again. And it's done really nicely. And, yeah, I liked it a lot. And that's it. So, yeah. Here we go. One last time. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to show you my online collection. It's not really that many. I have a lot of samples. But that's basically it. Uh, I own, like, five or six things three of them are manga three of them are light novels i think i can't remember off the top of my head there you go magi never gets shown okay yeah that's it guys uh, thank you very much see you guys later and peace out hey guys just a quick note uh i'd really appreciate it if you guys like and subscribe i'm trying to hit 20 subscribers by the end of the month uh, which isn't much, but it's uh, a sure sign of growth for me. So, uh, yeah, please uh, subscribe, like I said. Leave a comment, discuss, you know, tell me my videos suck or tell me they're good. I don't care. I, I just want people interacting with me. That's kind of the whole point. And, yeah, uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys help me out with my uh, subscriber goals. Thanks.